All right, kids, it's stair day. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. So I've kind of got the layout here going. This is a little bit unusual staircase. I got some head clearance uh, issues, if you will. Uh, boss man, you wanna get your poop sheet out here and we'll do a little ex explanation of what's happening. No incriminating evidence, evidence on here, is there? So boss man did a little diagram here. He drew it out, you can see uh, right here, we got uh, the floor system. So he's got the one, and we're gonna do a little bit, we're gonna do a half inch back belt, correct? Half inch? Yep. So we got floor, that we'll call that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 down there, then concrete. So 14, I guess that would be 14 risers. Treads, we're going with 11 inches. Our height, he kind of did the math over here. We got, we got a little bit of a fight earlier because I wanted to be very precise. And it's 104 and a half inches from the concrete to the finished OSB. And you divide that by 14 and it comes out to seven and 15 30 seconds, which is really close to seven and 15 sixteenths, but whatever. I want to do 30 seconds, he doesn't. So we set our, we set our guide That's up here. Seven sixteenths, not 15 sixteenths. Sorry, sorry, seven sixteenths is close to 15 30 seconds. Anyways, we'll get the poop sheet out of here. So we set our, uh, <clears throat> we set our little guide up here. So it hits the wood. That is roughly, I mean, it only goes quarters. I just measure it with the measuring tape to where it actually hits. That's our seven and seven sixteenths. Here we're doing 10 and a half because we're gonna come back in. I'm gonna do it on film here. And we're gonna put a back bevel out to a line right there. So scrape, scrape, bring it down, line it up. On this one, the 12 is across from the 10 and a half. Trial, trial, or draw, 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 all the way down. Do, 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 clear down here. You keep doing that until you get to the complicated part. This is where it gets fun because of the fact that we're going to be doing back slopes on these. The top toe kick, or riser, whatever you want to call it, doesn't get a doesn't get a, a back bevel. So when we get up here. We have to make sure we have a full eleven inches for our, for our our, our 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 tread to sit on. But there's no toe kick going on, so we have to readjust for that. So what we did is we came back, our full 11, adjusted back forward three quarter. It's a half inch difference, three quarter, quarter inch difference. So when we cut this, we're gonna cut all that away, basically cut and we're gonna notch around. This is gonna catch around the bottom of that floor joist right there to make it extra, extra grabby, if that makes sense. So like the floor joist is literally, oops, right here and it's gonna pass down and then stop. So we have a little notch in here. What I'm gonna try to do, Larry Hahn style, is adjust my uh, guide here. Maybe Boss Man can hold that for me. Hopefully he can make a really good shadow for me so I can't see what I'm doing. But right now what we're gonna do is try to adjust this so it'll uh, catch that uh, half inch. Let's see if I can do this without making a complete disaster out of the entire thing. So I wanna- You better mark that half inch. It is, you... dude, seriously. Look right here on my face, put it on my face. My whole entire life, I've done this. And he's asking me if I put a mark down. What's odd, oddly enough, he, he, he's been doing this for his whole entire life too. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna line up right there. I got my half inch mark there. I'm just gonna adjust that till I get him. Take that guy, snug him down. And then theoretically, assuming my pencil's sharp enough, I should be able to just Go down the line here. Making sure I'm snug. I don't want any errors or omissions. It's just gonna have to be close enough. That's all I can say. The reality of our situation is our concrete guy did such a shit job putting the floor in is we have a, a wavy floor. So we're kind of just going with averages. We actually measured all four corners down. I did the division and it came out within a, a 16th of what we were expecting. You got a sharper pencil than this? Yeah, right there. Don't forget you're still recording. Where'd you go? 
They're both sharp. Not really. They're sharper, they're sharp. And this will be the last one that gets adjusted. And then just for my own brain, I'm just gonna put a little squiggle on the wrong one there so I don't get confused. And what that's gonna do, essentially, if you, if you look here, I'm gonna go on the 10 so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. It's gonna, obviously, 10's gonna, we're looking for 21. It's putting me 21 right there for my, see how that works? Perfect. And it's a little, it's a, it's a little way to get a little head clearance when you're tight because on his design here, head clearance is absolutely set at no more than that because it's a hallway. <laughs> there's, we can't go any far, that's it. And you can't be hitting your head, so there's minimum head clearance heights that boss man says he's got it all figured out. So, that, and then now I guess down here you got to, you also have to adjust for this one, inch and a half readjust it because you gotta always remember we're doing half, we're doing inch and a half solid pine uh, treads, but there's no tread on the concrete. That's concrete height right there. So you gotta readjust that. And that should be working. You know, we're going to put, oops, you put your three-quarter board. We'll go right there. Well, that shoves it out here to catch this three-quarter board. So they, they chase each other up. Probably the worst uh, stair explanation video, but that's part of what I'm doing here. And, uh, yeah, that's it. These here I'll have to, like, connect in. Oops, I'll have to connect that in a little bit better. But it's not that hard to do when you're sawing. Once we do this, we'll just template it and then uh, make two of them. And then when we realize how bad we screwed it up, we'll just go to the store and buy more wood. Right, boss man? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. You said, yeah, right. You got it right. The grumpiest guy you ever met in your life. All right. Seven minutes of uh, this. I mean, I might set a video up for a second video we'll be cutting here. But that's the end of this one. Stay safe.